Yeah, today we're sharing with you a little example of the printing and the whole process of uh, DTF with the uh, powder and uh, the curing of the powder and right to the press. So let's watch the video and see how this goes. First of all, I'm doing a little bit of shaking of the ink over there. Not that I have to. This is good ink. You know, it's never clogs. I haven't had any problems with it clogging at all, especially designed for this DTF stuff. This is the L1800 right here, modified, modified unit for DTF. It works beautifully, I must say. I'm really happy with it. <clears throat> Not much more to say about this other than it's, you know, sauce set up on the Accurip 9 in the last video and process is continuing on here. We just press print and we've got a 8 by 12 sheet in there. As you can see that as it's printing, it's printing the colors down first and then it's putting white ink over the top of everything. And you can control how much white ink you're going to put on there too, depending upon what color fabric you're going to be putting this, this graphic onto. Yeah, it's about done there. i got to speed it up a little bit because I don't want to waste your time watching it. Here we go. As you can see, it's mirrored on the other side. And this is the powder. All you have to do is kind of dip it in the powder and swish it back and forth across the, across the film until it, it gets a good layer onto all the ink that's on there. The ink is still wet, you see, so it's grabbing onto that powder. This, this is an important part. Now, we need to need to flick off the extra powder because we don't want it on the shirt. Even though if you get it on the shirt, you know, it, it washes right out in the first wash. But you don't want to have to explain that to your customer. So here's the oven. It's just a it's a little toaster bake oven that I, that I got for this purpose. And it works beautifully. It's got, you know, it's got burners on the top and on the bottom. I used to use the top one and I... As you can see, uh, I've got it set for about 310 degrees or something like that. And then it's going to stay in there for about 12 seconds once it's heated up. This thing's got a little timer on it too, so if you walk away from it, it'll shut itself off. I really like this oven. It's like, it was like $124 for the oven. Okay, dry. See, oh, I'm touching the eyes. It is dry. It is dry. Yeah, here we go. Ready for the shirt. Shirt's on the press. We're going to give it a little bit of pre-press just to get the moisture out of the shirt. Just throw it right down on there. This is 305 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, and uh, it's on there for 10 to 12 seconds, and that's all it takes. That's it. We're going to pull it off of there and put it aside and let it cool, because this film is a cool peel cool peel film so I've let that I've let that cool now and then I'm going to give it a little peel there you have it just as clean as can be really happy with this process compared to DTG it's so much more simple 
And stretch? That stuff stretch a mile. I don't recommend you stretch your, your shorts out, but you know that's a good test for it right there. It stretches, has great stretchability. That's all there is to that. So I'll be signing off here now. I hope that was helpful. Any questions, leave them in the comments. See you later.